Hello everyone and welcome to SEO Roids. Okay, so today I'm doing a tutorial about a plugin on WordPress called My Curator. Okay, that's My Curator, C U R A T O R. Okay, so um, first of all, what is it? What is it for? Okay, so basically, when you have a blog or a blog on your website, <clears throat> you're going to create posts, yeah? And for the most part, you want to be creating like nice, lengthy posts. Um, but there is such a thing as curated content where you take content from another website um, and then you link to it. But you take just an excerpt, not the whole thing. You don't want to be doing like duplicate content and doing plagiarism. But you, you credit that source that you've taken it from and then you link to it. All right. And you don't want to abuse this because then you're not going to have any decent content of your own that's original on your website. But what you can do is you can pad out your own website, yeah? So, like, for example, say for every couple of good, decent posts that you've created yourself, you can do one piece of curated content. So that's just going to, like, make your website have more pages. Um, and it's going to have a bit more um, meat on the bone, so to speak. Okay, so my curator is very good. And also, of course, it means you can share it to your social media. You can drive traffic back to your website before they then click off page if they're interested in the excerpt to go and see it in its entirety on the other website. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm going to go over a very quick tutorial on my curator. You can see a full lengthy in-depth tutorial from the plugin creator. There's many if you search it in YouTube or on Google, you'll find it. But I think that you can do it quicker, right? I'll explain why as I go on. So first of all, you do as usual, you go to plugins and you go to add plugin and then you search my curator. And then when you get it, there's only one of them. You'll know when you see it. You go ahead and you install it and then you activate it. I don't need to show you how to do that. Okay, once you have done that, you'll get the My Curator down here in your left and your menu on your dashboard. Okay, and the first thing you're going to need to do is um, set it up. You need to like click through, it tells you where to click through to set up an account. You set up a free account, don't do the premium one, do a free account. And um, you get your API key, right? So it only takes a second to set it up, right? Opt for the free one, get your API key. Once you get your API key, you paste it in here and then you hit validate and get plan, right? So then that's you set up. And now the next thing you need to do, you see, right, what my curator enables you to do is actually find, automatically find content on the web pull it and publish it all automatically it's a great plugin right so you don't even have to do anything right you don't have to go looking for it it just does it for you it's brilliant but i don't like that because i want to know what's getting published on my website and i want to cherry pick um articles that i want to link to on my website so i'd rather take away that automation and do it manually right so this is the way i do it so under your in your sub menu under my curator you've got get it and source it okay so what you do is you click on that and you don't want to do the source it part yeah because we just talked about that yeah i mean you can if you'd like but this is the way i do it right um there's the get it right you see that get it there where my mouse is it's underlined which means it's a it's a clickable it's a link and what you do is you left click on that and you drag it and you drag it up to your uh, toolbar up here where my mouse is and I've already got them you see that I've got get it AS that's a client of mine get it APAT that's another client get it ML get it LWD so basically you drag it and then you drop it right once you drop it in here you, you, you get it and then what I do is I right click and I manage my bookmarks 
and then I rename it because I've got lots for many websites here, right? So you would rename it so you know what it's for, okay? So that is it. You are done, right? Now what you do is from there you can you can get some content. So let me do that right now. So I'm going to find an SEO blog. I'm just googling SEO blog, right? And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna find a nice article that I like. Okay. So let me just find that. So I just found a nice article. It's called "Should You Keep Your Best Content on Your Site or Send It Away?" Right. I just just found that, and uh, it's a nice article. You know, it's pretty good. It comes from a reputable site, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go to my bookmarks up here, and I've got Get It SEO Roids, which is my site. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that. Okay. And I get a pop-up box. Okay. And I wait for that pop-up box to load. Now the image imports, everything imports. Okay, so um, I'm going to get the uh, category, and I'm going to ch change the category here. This is all my categories in the drop down. So um, we'll call it SEO tips. I think that probably best describes it. SEO tips. And then you're going to save, draft, and edit. All right. Once you do that, it takes you to in your dashboard. It takes you to that post that you just pulled. Right. So it's basically created your post. So you've got your own URL. Um, it's your own post. It's saved as a draft. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of little bits to it, and then we're going to publish it. All right. Okay. So basically, you've got your title. It's created your slug, right? And um, I'm just waiting for it to load. It's being a bit slow because I'm screen recording. So this is what you get, right? I haven't had to do anything so far. I just clicked one thing on my mouse. So I've got an excerpt here, and then here I've got the link. But what you're going to want to do, well, this is what I do, so that it's not like 100 percent you know taken from another site i'm going to add my own two cents up here right so i'm going to type in something so i've written a couple of sentences and that's all you want to do is a couple of sentences if you write too much it defeats the object because you might as well write something from scratch anyway right but just a, a couple sentences so i put here when you write something really special do you want to keep it for your own site or is it better to be used off page linking back to your site what to do this is a question many people have check out this great article on the topic right and that's it that's all i want to do right and then um then of course i've got the excerpt which was imported and i've got the link there that was imported and although the link says uh searchenginland.com it is actually hyperlinks to the specific page of this article, right? So what I personally do when it's curated content, I don't bother with Yoast SEO. Um, I don't do rich snippets. Uh, but there's the featured image. It's been imported. So like all the time-consuming mundane tasks are done. You know, it's really good. It's a great way to get content out really easily, right? And so that's how I use my curator. And um, it's it's a great way. It's, it's a great thing to have. So I'm going to publish this now, and uh, and that's another page I have on my website.